The project of the day is going to be to make a scrolling background and explain how it's done in a video. Well, in this video, we're going to take a uh, image and put it in the background and have it scroll. So it's like a scrolling background. I make an image. Um, I use the number of uh, 10,000 pixels long. Now, this 10,000 pixels long is just so I can get out a video that I want, want to be about three minutes long. And it would depend on, uh, there's a lot of depending, a lot of depending on it, on how long you want your, uh, your video to be and how long you want to, or how fast you want to scan. But if I put that 10,000 pixel image in here, you see it's long and thin. It doesn't cover the whole screen. So I've got to transform it. So I take the transform tool and I disconnect the aspect because I want to make it long but I don't want to make it higher and we're going to change this with the 10,000 because that's the width of the image I created and as soon as I do that you see it fills the entire screen these two arrows right here there's the beginning I mean there's the end and there's the beginning and if you look at the clip, you'll see that line move from there to there. That shows what the time is. What I want to do is go to the beginning and line up in the beginning of that big clip. Then I want to the go to the end, make that a key frame, and make it the end of that long clip. And if you notice this window up here, it changed. Now all I have to do to save this as a scrolling background is to save the video. We're going to back it up just to look at it and we'll play it to see the speed of it. And that will scroll that whole big long image. I use the marble paper image because I'm going to be putting, a, uh, putting slides on top of it or pictures on top of it. But this image, this big long image you make also it could be mountains and trees and backgrounds and flowers. It could be anything that would be passing by and then you could have a purse or an object or something move. Now you also can take a big image like this and you don't have to start in the very beginning and go to the end. You could start somewhere in the middle. And when you start there, you could move in one direction then change it and go in the other direction. You also can change the size of the background image and that would give the appearance of going near or backing away from it. Of course if you want to back away from it you have to start with a big image and then you would make it smaller. That's where you would use your aspect tool right here. But this is the video this is it this turns it into a uh, scrolling background and then you go put whatever you want to on top of this or you can just save that scrolling background and say hey render me that scrolling background so I have it to use anytime I want to on any images I want to so if you have a, a series or something I'm gonna put this marble here So if you're going to do a series where you want the same background, you just look at me. I can't do. I can't talk and do this at the same time. My brain isn't working right at this morning, early in the morning. But then now I've got this background that I can use three or four different ways. So if I'm making a series of it with a character, I can use the same streets, the same store the same whatever I can use and have the character do different things in the front. Okay, this is the end of the video. You guys have a good day. If you like this, subscribe and uh, get some more Caden Live tips.